what's going on guys mimic here with another video this one is going to be talking about me changing to sword and shield if you guys have been watching my other videos you'll know that i was a great sword dagger main for about two two and a half months played the siege through uh using the great sword and dagger had a blast doing that uh but i wanted a change of pace so i wanted to just drop this new video and kind of explain why i went sword and shield and kind of give you my thoughts on that so thanks for watching if if you haven't liked go ahead and like uh now if you want to comment throw a comment in the comment section and if you want to give me some love all you got to do is throw me a sub let's jump in so sword and shield is kind of like the new meta right now um it kind of blew up i would say right before or right slightly after the server merged we started to notice a lot more sword and shield players um, now i still have my great sword um so i you know my great sword is you know i'm still a dps i still do tons of dps actually um but with the sword and seal change it's going to give me some more survivability i'm going to be able to uh kind of dive like that midline area and then with the sword and shield they give you counter barrier this is what counter barrier looks like and essentially what happens is when you have your counter barrier on you reflect damage so i'm going to be able to pop my counter uh, barrier in and then i'm going to be able to jump into the midline and you know reflect some of that damage that's getting focused on me it gives me a little bit more survivability uh and a little bit more tankyish, more tankiness um that was my main thing was when i played great sword dagger i had a lot of burst damage but i didn't have much survivability and for me that kind of killed it in a sense because i felt like what's the point of being so bursty if you get you know stunned one time and you're dead right it, it kind of made the game not as enjoyable as i wanted it to be so i changed the sword and shield because it's going to give me a little bit more tankiness and i can still dps yes i missed out on a little bit of um, some heavy attack so you know some of my um, some of my character rebuilding is you know it's gimped me in the short term uh but think long term i'm going to have more success with it now i still need to change all my stats i still need to get my weapon I'm, i've got this plus nine blue it's terrible it's not even traded um but that's what we're going to be talking about in in this video and the, the main reason that i switched to sword and shield is because i am going to be leading um uh, a guild i am going to be leading an alliance and i do plan to shot call at some point and i know that sword and shield is the tank right he's the one who's in the front of the entire zerg he's the one who should be shot calling and it doesn't make sense for me to shot call on a dps because i'm just going to get blown up I'd rather shot call on a sword and shield type tank build. So I'm just trying to get some more knowledge with the sword and shield and just learn, you know, the 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 role and learn its weaknesses, its strong points so that I can create strategies when I am leading content on how to counter the tanks and how to counter enemy pushes, things like that. So I figured it, I would go sword and shield just to give me a wider range of knowledge in the game to figure out how the, you know, how the different roles are played and their weaknesses and strengths. So overall, that's the main reason that I decided to switch. Now, um, I also you know i'm getting ready for na launch i don't know we don't know when the when the launch is coming out yet but i'm thinking within the next six months so i should have a few months under my belt as sword and shield so when it you know when it does come out not only do i understand the great sword dagger fully but i also understand the great sword sword and shield fully as well so it's just going to make me a better well-rounded player at the end of the day um now it is a change of pace it's a way different play style. Um, you're not as bursty, so you can't really like jump on a target and kill him instantly. But if you, if I get my full my full combo on you, there is a chance that I do kill you. So it's it's not as bursty, but it's still very 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 strong. Uh, and I have murked a lot of people as sword and shield and <coughs> excuse me, and it feels really, really really good. So um, so my builds and stats on here is the first thing i need is and i've talked to my talked to my guild about this we need to do um we need to do turn because the best in slot for dps is uh dps tank is going to be that turn beheading sword because it's going to give me block in a melee attack apply sleep uh to the attacker for three seconds so as a dps i'm going to be doing a lot of blocking 
I'm going to be fighting a lot of melee. When I do block them, I'm going to sleep them for three seconds. Uh, and that, that cools down is every 20 seconds. So three times a minute, I can sleep someone. That's very strong as a frontline DPS slash tank bruiser build. So the best in slot for me is going to be the Eternal Box Beheading Sword. That is going to be probably the main sword that I'm trying to get so that I can move uh, move this plus nine blue, uh, which I have now, just a temporary sword. And when I get the Eternal Box Sword, I'll be able to roll that into the sword. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to plus nine it. Right, so um, I still have my daggers here with the heavy attack chance on there. So I'm gonna just keep them kind of in the background. So if I ever do wanna go back to daggers or something else happens, I can always use these later. So for now, I'm just gonna throw them actually in there because I don't need them. Uh, but yes, uh, the beheading sword, I'm not even sure if you can get uh, heavy attack on it. I'm sure you can, let me see, sword, uh, where is it? beheader so yeah you can get heavy attack on it obviously it's so expensive look at that twelve thousand, ridiculous uh and you can get max health which is great so it's probably best in slot for a dps slash tank is that beheading sword now um also i am keeping the uh the general furies set so i have the helmet here and then i also have the boots that are that's going to give me that heavy attack chance uh, on my great sword so i'm keeping that that's not going to change the thing that is changing though is my top so i'm going with the transcendal uh set this is this comes highly recommended from one of my guildies and before he said that you know from a hybrid tank slash dps uh you know build you're gonna want to get cdr so if you look at the plus two um set effect is the cooldown speed of 7.5 uh it does give you plus two perception at base zero plus 300 max health and then that stamina region is plus 165 which is great and this is at plus zero i need to level this up to plus six um but actually you know what let's let's do that now because i had made some gold earlier i had made a video on um i had made a video on uh these little orbs the mystic keys and i got some gold today so let me actually just uh let me just level this up right now so we're gonna go here try transfer and there it is we're gonna move this to plus six here let's see it costs 460 gold uh k gold you can see the melee defense is gonna go up my range defense is gonna go up i'm gonna get one more perception i'm gonna get a couple more health and my stamina region is gonna go up as well so let's go ahead and just pop that over beautiful so that's plus six now so that was nice uh and then what i need is the pants so you can get the pants um you can get the pants uh doing tyrants which is going to be the secret dungeon here if you go to tyrants down here you can see here he drops the transcendental uh transcendental i can't say that word salvation pants uh there so um it, once i get those pants i'm gonna get another three wisdom i'm gonna get some nice dr i'm gonna get that resistance and then i am gonna get that cooldown split cooldown speed 7.5 now the reason i want cooldown as a tank is because i'm going to be wanting to keep my counter barrier up pretty much 24 7 uh and i'll read it real quick it just says shield block chance 39 percent for nine seconds on evading magic uh or range attacks defending against a fury attack or using shield block perform a counter attack that deals damage equal to 250 percent of the of damage reduction so the more damage reduction you have the more damage you're going to do on counter barrier now um the reason yeah like i said the reason you want that cooldown speed is because if you have this counter barrier on the the more you have this on the better so you pretty much want this on 24 7 if you can have this on zero cooldown and just have it on the entire time you're going to be much 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 more effective on the battlefield and you're going to survive a lot longer and ultimately um yeah it's just you're just going to be doing way 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 more damage so that's the goal is to have this counter barrier on um you know as 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 often as you can so that you can just continue to do damage you can see i've got a five second cooldown there from when the counter barrier is able to be used 
and then from when it's actually on cooldown and that is without having my pants once i have my pants that five second timer is going to be much shorter you can see here it goes off there and i've got five seconds before i can use counter barrier again now with tank when you don't have counter barrier on you're really really susceptible to damage so the goal is to just have it on at all times and uh you know be fighting in the front line be diving the mages and just be overall just be getting aggro from the entire enemy team so that they can reflect that damage and debuff themselves so the next goal for me is to get the um i'm sorry to to come over here and we're gonna get the uh, tyrant we're come to tyrant's isle and we're gonna get those transcendal um salvation pants there it's gonna give me an additional 7.5 percent cooldown speed which is great uh and then i need a stack cooldown speed everything that i have on my armor pieces like on my helmet that cooldown speed i need to max that out um, I'm not sure if you can get cooldown speed on here. I don't think you can. No, you cannot. Um, let's see what else. Uh, I don't think you can get cooldown speed. Um, the transcendental pants. Let's see. I, let's see if those give you cooldown speed. So armor. We're gonna go to legs. Transcendental pants. Um, so no, you cannot get cooldown speed on them, but you can get debuff duration 1.5, which is going to be really good because any debuff that's getting on you, it's going to be less, uh, which is good. So uh, you pretty much just want to max cooldown speed. Um, you can't get it on the bracers that I've got. Um, I don't think you can get it on these rings. Uh, I don't believe you can get it on this ring either. I think the only thing you can actually get cooldown speed on is your belt not even your belt so it's just going to be mainly i believe the necklace if i get another necklace i can get cooldown speed on the necklace and i believe that necklace is going to be um let me see i saw it earlier i think he told me it was the scales of time necklace i think let me see one of these you can get cooldown speed on i believe um but yeah you you pretty much just want to max cooldown speed on tank and so that you can have your your know your counter barrier on and just be doing more damage over time with this because when you have this on and people attack you you reflect a lot of that damage so um it's it's really really strong uh skill to have now it's important to know you only reflect it while your sword and shield is out so your sword and shield must be out when you have counter barrier on to reflect it because your shield is going to do like a passive block by itself it blocks a percentage of attacks that come and hit you and it doesn't block all the damage it blocks like three quarters of the damage so you still take damage but you take less damage if that makes sense so you definitely want to be uh you, you want to be keeping your uh, sword and shield out when you're doing damage and when you're running around you want your sword and shield out and you want your counter barrier on pretty much at all times so um that's the play there now as far as any other weapons that i'm going to be using um you know i'm still working on getting my sword leveled you can see I'm, i barely am level five on it i got to do a lot more to get it to that that level eight they unlocked it i think you can unlock it all the way to 10 i believe um but i'm still leveling this up i did manage to get all my skills to purple and i did manage to get all my passives to purple so i mean i'm as max as i can get there's still some little min maxing that i can do uh on here i still need to get my um my counter bearer to level five which i do have some skills uh here some skill boxes here but i need to kind of just go through them and see what i'm trying to level up you know the quickest and kind of go from there but i mean outside that that's kind of the goal is i need to farm my armor pieces i need to get my sword that's like very very important for me i need to get my sword the turner box sword that's going to be huge i'm gonna get that to plus um plus nine as soon as i can uh and then i'm just gonna level that up i need to farm my uh contracts because i need to get my weapon contracts i'm actually going to do that right now after i shoot this video is to go farm all my weapon contracts i have a bunch that i need to do so that i can go ahead and when i do get the chernobog sword i can level that up um really quick i'm going to do that in one swipe should probably I don't know cost me like five to six million gold and then it's probably going to cost me about five or six hundred of these growth stones so that's the next thing is to just get my chernobog sword then i'm going to get the transcendo pants and as far as my cape obviously the best cape that you can get for uh 
the best cape that you can get for tank is definitely going to be the cloak here the commander's commandant's grandeur it's the best cloak um it has the max health and it's got damage reduction remember everything is on cooldown and damage reduction for tanks uh, the more damage reduction you do the more damage you do pretty much uh on your counter barrier so um that's going to be best in slot the commandants the thing is though my elite assassin's cloak is pretty good already so i'm just going to probably hold on to this until i get this commandants drop and the commandants drop would honestly the only one i would roll on would probably be the one that dropped if it dropped with max health so i'm gonna keep all my dkp points for that uh and when i um when this drops in the guild raid uh if i have enough dkp points i may roll on it so that i can get the max health uh commandants um cloak but for now i'm just gonna keep my assassin's cloak it's got you know max health on it it's got the skill damage resistance it's got weakened resistance on it um i don't even know let's see on the com on this cloak here i don't know if they have yeah i mean I pretty much have the best in slot for it the weakened resistance i could have went with debuff duration or bind resistance if i want um but i think weakened resistance is pretty good as well so you know that's maxed out plus nine i'm probably going to hold on to this for a while i don't really want to switch out my necklace either that's pretty good it's got the melee endurance and melee defense on it it's got skill damage boost weakened resistance and that buff duration as well so this is going to be pretty solid as well i don't think i'll uh you know change my necklace out anytime soon unless something unless i get a drop that's just like really good um and then the belt is really good too you can see here my belt is pretty solid it's got the max health on it it's got the damage reduction which is beautiful and then it's got weakened resistance that debuff duration on there and the health regen which is not the best i need to get actually max health on it I need to get the skill damage resistance on it and then i can probably keep the debuff duration on it as well so yeah there's some you know i need to farm the butchers so that i can get another you know duke magnus belt and see if i can get that one with max health and then roll that into this one and then do some changes there but outside that it's pretty solid my my rings are my rings aren't too bad either uh it's got skill damage boost on there of course i need to level it up soon uh but again i'm free to play so i don't i'm not swiping i'm not able to just get a bunch of skill damage boost on there i can't max out my max health um this one has got skill damage boost on it it's got max health so for free to play i'm doing pretty well the only thing is my bracers is lacking i i need to get max health on it i need to get that skill damage resistance on it and i need to get the debuff duration on it collision resistance is actually not terrible um but again i'm free to play i haven't swiped on this not even one dollar all free to play i've done this all just by grinding i think i'm doing pretty good for free to play to be honest um, obviously these boots are you know going to be awesome i need to get the melee evasion on it maybe some range evasion on it as well and then it does have the range endurance already but the best slot is going to be that movement speed so i would benefit greatly from the movement speed i just you know i just don't have lucent right now i've been spending a lot of my lucent uh to you know get all the stuff that i needed for the for the change i had to i used some of the lucent so that i could um you know buy a bunch of purple marins and then i got those purple marins uh which are really cheap right now so it actually didn't cost me too much i mean look at them that 47 maybe about a month ago these were for selling for 150 160 now the price has dropped since merge but uh you know i used my i had like 2000 lucent i bought a bunch of Mar these marins i bought i don't know probably like 10 or 15 of them uh spent about 1500 lucent uh and then i got all those marins and then they were able to kind of push all these to purple so with about 1500 lucent i was able to get everything to purple i had a whole bunch of uh, uh of these um blue uh where are they at uh, these these rare parchments i had a whole bunch of them already saving uh so save these when you get them you may think you'll never use them but they're really good if you want a skill change uh and i used a bunch of these i even dissolved some of the purple ones so i could get blue and then i use all those parchments along with the marins so that i could level up all these sword and shield skills and you can see they're all at least purple now obviously they're not as nice as my dagger ones were my dagger ones were like plus two plus three across the board uh but it's just the name of the game i'm not gonna swipe uh you know i'm not gonna swipe in game especially playing kr uh to get these conversion books right to do a one-to-one -one conversion i'm not gonna swipe in kr for it i'll just play it as free to play and do as much as i can and when na comes if i am gonna swipe i'll do it on na but 
that's it's kind of where i'm at now um that's mommy that's that's all my gear the hands i'm kind of up in the air i don't know which hands i actually want i do need to get better ones um i don't know which ones i actually want yet um i haven't taken the time to actually look at which hands i want i'm pretty sure like obviously good ones would be like you know the ghost wolves are probably pretty good but i'm not going to be able to get a set right uh, because i already have the head i already have the feet and then i have the chest and the legs so the last thing is my hands so my hands are going to be just whatever i decide to float on the hands i gotta kind of run through all these figure out which ones make the best sense for dps slash tank and then i'm probably just gonna buy those and level those up to plus six but again i have to just do my own research and see which one makes the mess the most uh, the most sense i haven't done that yet i just switched to sword and shield a week ago and i had some personal things i had to take care of so i haven't been playing as much but now that it's all done i'm going to jump into the game i'm going to theory craft more figure out kind of where i need to go and what i need to do for now like i said i'm going to do the tyrants uh and try to get the pants i need to get those pants that's asap once i get the pants it's going to be a huge buff for me uh and then i'm going to get those to plus uh six purple since my current pants already are plus nine blue so that's the next step and then obviously the churnal box sword and from there we're just going to continue to grow and grow and grow um i'll be putting out some content some pvp content so you guys can see me in pvp so you guys can kind of see how the role how the sword and shield plays in pvp with great sword uh, i'm not the best at it yet because i'm i'm not used to frontlining but i am getting better at it it's probably going to take me at least a few weeks to get really comfortable in the role like i said i was playing great sword dagger since the inception of the game and i had a blast with it so much damage but i just wanted to you know change the pace a little bit see if i could learn something new and uh, this way i could be better prepared for when na launch comes i may even switch again depending on when na launch comes you know if it, if it doesn't come for after six months that gives me more time maybe i'll stay in sword and shield for a couple months two or three months and then i'll switch again maybe i'll try bow or maybe i'll try staff you know i want to try all the all the different roles so i can see which one i actually like the best i know great sword dagger was amazing but now I'm trying Sword and Shield and see how that plays out. If I don't like that or I get bored with it, maybe I'll try DPS again. I'll go Staff or I'll go Bow. So I'm just constantly you know, evolving, constantly trying to have different fun with the game so it doesn't get stagnant and just learning new tunes. But that's kind of where I'm at. Wanted to give you guys a video on... Um, the sword and shield change why i did it what my plans are my short-term plans my long-term plans and obviously just trying to learn the role in more in depth because i know i'm going to be shot calling in my guild uh when na comes out and i want to make sure that i understand fully how to shot call like how to position myself how strong i am where my limitations are with the the tune and well, you know what i need to do to be the best shot caller that i can again real quick plug if you guys have not joined my discord please join the discord i am uh building the discord up i want to get to 300 members at least so that when the game does launch i can have some applications going out to you guys you guys can uh, apply to the guild get into the guild and if you're not in the primary guild which is black thorn i'm going to have three subsetter guilds that are in our alliance you may be able to join them as well if you haven't joined the discord please join it you can see it in my uh, description on my channel love to see you in there uh, i've got general chat going if you guys want to chat with me i do jump in there from time to time it's kind of uh the discord right now is a little chill i'm not in it as much since i am actively playing uh, on uh, no hp and i'm in that discord the majority of the time when i'm in the game but uh, once the game release date gets released i would say within 30 days of it being released i'm going to open up applications so if you guys want to apply you guys want to play in my guild or subsidiary guilds please join the discord and just hang out for a little bit and once the game goes uh on global release once i know when it's going to be released, I will open up the applications and I will take in those at a first come first serve basis. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you guys have any questions, throw them in the comment section. If you guys like the video, give me a like. And if you guys want to give me some love, all you got to do is throw me a sub. Going to make some more videos here shortly for you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Much love. Peace.